Look at her. She's upset because she got to hold her stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> birthday and anniversary and for those of you if you are not caught in Wella here turned 70 years old I mean not yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Wella turned 75 and their anniversary is this is their 50th anniversary yeah. sister I love you man I got a little joke how come a dog carries a bone in his mouth you don't got no pockets you put it in. <laughs> Get <down. laughs> Yummy, one delicious. Out of, one out of ten. 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 All right. Look at our Uber. It's the red Tesla. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> mom and dad make their entrance if we could all stand and applaud them mostly my mother because she had to put up with a lot here we go Uh, my mom's supposed to 
uh, just bless the food, but I just think it's important that we just um, bless Aya and Yvonne as well. Um, Lord, I just want to thank you today. I want to um, thank you for this beautiful day. I want to thank you that you've blessed each and every person here with safe travels. Thank you so much for that, Lord. Most importantly, we want to thank you for uh, your perfect plan on this uh, beautiful couple 50 years ago. Thank you so much, Father, for that. such wonderful memories that I'll cherish for the rest of my life and hope to pass on to my children as well. You know, as we were small, we remember all the picnics. My mother was a big fan of family. My father was a very hard worker. And those things we saw growing up, and those things that you don't remember, they're stuck in our memory forever. And we're very fortunate to learn a lot of life lessons from you guys. You know, I'll just throw out a couple examples. Uh, when I was small, I had this really cool truck, little metal truck, and I loved it. And it was kind of brand new. And then one day, my dad gave it away. And not that he was punishing me, but he taught me that lesson that somebody less fortunate didn't have somebody to buy them that truck. And I didn't understand that, and I was just pissed. But as you grow and you start seeing those life lessons and you start applying them and that I'd say salute. The picnics, even though she dropped me and Rafi off at the park at five o'clock to save a table at Beersley Park. And we're laying on the tables like bums and people are like, let's get up a And we're just waiting for the, you know, the caravan and all that stuff. And those are all the lessons that, you know, all the things that we gather with family, very important to my mother, and uh, we appreciate all those lessons in life. And there's so many that we can list, but we don't got all night. But I love you, and I thank you for such wonderful parents. Uh, um, listen, I was the first one, so you know I was special. They tried again. <laughs> Better life. Why did you have to have to have to try for the girl? Damn it. Like Ivy said though, um, we were blessed. We had an amazing uh, childhood. We got everything we wanted and everything that we wanted that we couldn't get, we got the knockoff brand, so that was always good. Um, but my mom and dad were very supportive. I want you guys to guess who is who in this scenario. But there was one that was really lovey-dovey and always hugged us and kissed us. And then there was the other ones like, ah, get the hell out of here and grow up and go experience life. And if you know them, my dad's the lovey-dovey. He would always kiss us and slobber over us. And then my mom wanted us to grow us quick. And so we were in Bridgeport, and she was like, hey, you guys are gonna sign up for the bowling league in Stratford. And she took us the first time, and it was so great, we bowled, and it was awesome. And then the next weekend, she said, okay, go take the bus. And five transfers, we had to go to downtown Bridgeport. Does anybody know what the bus station like is in downtown Bridgeport? There is nothing but homeless people. She used to give us $5 each. We used to buy donuts and a hot chocolate. We would go back to the bus station and all the homeless people would just eat all our food. And, but we didn't say anything to my mom because we wanted to let her know that we made it. And so then we would go to Stratford bowling and we were still hungry. And that's when I was skinny, and the only time I was skinny because all the homeless people in Bridgeport ate my donuts. <laughs> but it made me a better person. It made me to understand that in life, to get through things, you have to have tough times. And sometimes your mother's the one that threw you into the alligator pool. But um, without my mom and dad, I wouldn't know what love is. I wouldn't know what tough love is. I wouldn't know what it is to, you know, have somebody encourage you and push you and make you want to be a better person <laughs> but it was long <laughs> uh, and, 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 and she upsets me sometimes it make me happy as can be most of the time take my money when i call her honey 
I love her to death.